After parting ways with first round management, John Jones recently announced that he has hired former boxing promoter Richard Schaefer. He posted this on his Instagram and he went on to say, I have retained Richard Schaefer as my advisor. Richard has been in the combat space for over 20 years and has put together some of the biggest global pay per view events over that period. The likes of Mayweather, De La Hoya, Canelo, Hopkins, Barrera, and Marquez have headlined the exciting events that Richard has promoted and produced. His knowledge and experience of the pay per view industry and combat sports are second to none. I am excited to embark on this next chapter of my career as I continue to cement my place in history as one of the greats with Richard as my advisor. I can't wait to give my fans and the support the fights they want to see. Brett Okamoto gave Dana White's reaction and posted this on his Twitter saying, Dana White and John Jones retaining Richard Schaefer. I like Richard, I've known Richard for a long time and obviously he built Golden Boy. He built that company. He knows what he's doing. He's a smart guy. I like and respect him and if we get something done we will. Paul Feld on the Believe in Me podcast gives his thoughts on why he decided to retire from MMA. You know, I, I, I think it really might get with I think after that hooker fight that the, I had so much pressure on myself that that was my shot to really put myself in a position to be fighting for the belt and and really kind of get to the tippy top of that division. And, and when that gets taken away from you, especially in a split decision like that, out of your hometown, you're away. I had been gone for almost nine weeks, I think, from my family. I saw my daughter once in that whole time. Um, I was just so over the sport and I, I just don't think I had another one in me after that. So that's why I semi-retired then. But then you know how it is, you get you get the itch a little bit again and I, I went back, but then the pandemic hit and it only made things worse. It made me want to retire even more because I wasn't even getting into MMA gyms. Everything was shut down. I was spending a lot of time with my family. I was enjoying spending a lot of time at home with the family. And then the RDA fight came up, but that was five days notice. It was some crazy so I got into that, right? Like that got me hyped up. Nice. Such crazy circumstances that I, I, I got I got amped up for that. But then as soon as that was done, I thought, all right, I got the fire again. A few weeks later, hanging out with the fam again, I started doing my, my race prep again and biking and running. And I was like, man, I love this. I'm staying in great shape. I'm eating what I want. Whatever I want, I'm eating. That's crazy. Seeing the family, I'm still working. I'm still making money. I'm seeing you guys. I'm in the sport. And I tried to retire then. And, you know, everybody talked me in. Wait, you know, talk to Sean Shelby and Hunter. And they're like, look, no rush, man. Take your time. Take your time. You'll stay in the rankings. And then people were just berating me. You're ducking Islam. You're doing uh, this. And, um, DC. <laughs> yeah, I, text, I texted him. I was like, bro, I'm retiring this week. I want you to know I'm not. And he felt so, but he called me. He's like, bro, I wasn't trying to throw you under the bus. I, I didn't know you were retiring me. Yeah, of course. And uh, DC's the man. We know. So that's kind of where I was, man. I was just, I just, you know, I don't know if I, I just, it's not that I don't have it physically anymore. I just think that if you don't have that burning desire to go whip ass on a drop of a hat, then it's probably time to, to throw on the gloves. Oh, finish my short cardio coming more times and today I'm in the gym sparring session feel good that's what I want to feel I just want to feel really good <laughs> and wish you feeling the same what's up everybody looks like I got hacked the past couple days so if you got any messages or DMs for me please disregard um, if you get, I ever get hacked again in the future, I would never ask anybody for money. So uh, if you got got, I'm sorry. My wife actually was been on the phone with PayPal and Venmo trying to make sure everybody's good to go. Um, but again, sorry for the inconvenience. There's a lot of scummies out there. So let's hope it doesn't happen again. Thanks, everybody. Good, good, how about you? Uh, no worries, no worries. Oh, how about you? I'm not sure if you're a guy. Oh, do it,
Kelly ganó la Shaq. No me ve esto. King Triple C here. You guys welcome to this episode of Motivational Monday brought to you by the Triple C Mindset. Go get your Triple C Mindset at Fanatic Wrestling. Let's get straight to it. The word that comes to mind today, or the phrase better yet, is the playing games of the mind or the tricking of the mind. And we all have that as competitors, but that's exactly what the key is. That understand that the playing games of the mind, if you really strip it down to the bone, that only means that you care. And typically that, that tends to happen more with competitors. So understand that the playing games of the mind, the tricks of the minds is all normal. But now it's up to you to understand. And you, you got two options. One, to keep it in check or two, to change the channel. Because at times you can't control the mind. But understand that, I mean, as a competitor, I understand that that the, the playing tricks of the mind is, is just part of me being the best version that I could be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feet on the hips. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. That's it. Move, move, move your hips away. Good, good. Hips away 